Hello and welcome to the first of my series of videos for learning Python 3. Uh, for these first few videos we will use a website known as Replit, which is R-E-P-L dot I-T. If you can sign in and create an account with them. So just click sign in. Uh, if you're one of my students, can you please sign in using your school Google account? Uh, and I would have, again, if you're one of my students, I would have sent you an invite website address. If you can sign in by clicking that link, because then that will make you my student and you will appear in, my, in one of my classes so that I can uh, monitor your progress and help you out as if we go. Right, once you are signed into Replit and you are a member of my class, to create your first program, Go into my REPLs and mine says continue with Python 3. Uh, if I go to new, okay. Uh, you'll get a screen that looks like this with a list of the different programming languages that their website supports. Click on Python 3. Uh, and you will get a screen that looks like this. So our very first Python 3 program we are going to create. It is tradition. If you are learning a programming language, the very first thing you do is create a hello world. So let's do that. Who am I to argue with tradition? Print open round, open round brackets, open double quotes. Sorry, I'm using a different keyboard to the one I'm used to. Uh, and then hello world exclamation all right so we have the, the word print which it has recognized and made blue we have uh, so that is our function or our command that we are executing and then we are the information that we are giving to that command to run uh, is contained within the round brackets and we are only providing one command if we had multiples we would separate them with commas uh, and so the one piece of information we are providing to this command is this string, what's known as a string, uh, hello world. So a string is just a fancy word for some data, which is uh, alphanumeric, so just text in other words. Uh, once I've finished writing all that and I want to see it run, I, you can either press control and enter at the same time or I hit the little play button and we'll see on the side here I've got the words hello world. Now obviously, okay. so there you go, congratulations, your first Python program up and running. Now I can change this, All right. I can say good morning, and as we would probably expect if I hit play now, my little screen says good morning, so there you go. Our second program, up and written. So like I said, we can provide multiple com um, most functions and, uh, or commands that we will be using would take multiple parameters uh, and as it so happens the print command can take as many as we need. It can take one or it can take dozens. So I could actually put in here a comma and put in another string. Oops. Uh, Baumgarten. And if I hit play now Right. It's just inserted a space between the two parameters that we've given it. Uh, but that will be useful later on. Um, in fact, it will be useful right now. <laughs> so let's start doing something a little bit more than just printing a message of whatever we type. Uh, and one of the very first things we're going to want to do is to be able to interact with our program. Uh, there's not too many programs in the world where you click play and it just does whatever it does without interacting with the user. So let's do the same here. And this time I am going to create what's known as a variable, and I'm going to call it name equals. <laughs> Where are we? Come on. There we go. I should be using my own keyboard. All right, name equals, and I'm going to write the words input. Double quotes, what is your name, question mark. And then here, under the print, we change that to saying hello and comma, separates the multiple parameters that I'm providing the print command, and I'm just going to put the word name. So hopefully you can look at this and get a bit of a gist as to what might be happening. 
All right, once you think you know what might be happening, let's press, press, bleh, press play and test. Oops. What is your name? My name is Mr. Baumgarten, and if I press enter, it says, hello, Mr. Baumgarten. Okay, so what's happening here is we're using our, our second command we've been introduced to. So we had the print function, and now we're looking at the input function. And this one, I provide a prompt or a question as a string, uh, as its parameter. Uh, but it provides some information back to the program, which we are storing in this thing called name. All right, so this is not an equals sign. I'm not asking is name equals to this thing. Uh, it's an assignment operator. So whatever this outputs is getting assigned into what we call a variable called name. And then my print function runs and I'm printing out my first parameter and then I print out my second parameter. And it knows that this is a special uh, variable uh, which it was which was stored uh, loaded up here with whatever we received from the input command. So a variable is just a memory location within the computer that we can save information to and retrieve information from. Think of it as a fancy version of the memory button on your calculator. So this time we can have an unlimited number of memory spots. Uh, so if we have a quick go at a second program, um, let's put in a second question here. All right, uh, and let's call this place. I'm interested to know where I'm from. Where are you from? All right, now if I don't change the print command, it's still going to ask me both questions, but it's not going to do anything with the place. All right. What is your name, Mr. Baumgarten? Where am I from? Australia. All right, hasn't done anything with it. So I could either uh, so hello, you are from. Okay, but this is very exciting place. All right, so now if I run it. Hello, Mr. Baumgarten, you're from Australia. What if I want it all on one line? Well, I can have it all in one print statement. Right? I can have a comma, quote, hello, whoever I am, from place. Right. And now if I run it, hello, Mr. Baumgarten from Australia. And that is your first introduction to Python. Uh, we have met two commands. We've met the print command or function and the input command or function. And believe it or not, that is all you need to start completing the first set of exercises. Before we do that, though, we might want to save what we've done. So let's hit the little save button here. Uh, and that saves my REPL. Uh, in this case, it's saved it as untitled. So I might actually want to click the name here and... Uh, Change this, I'm going to call it video demos. You can call it whatever you want. All right. And now when I click save, it's going to save it inside my REPL.IT uh, cloud account under the name video demo, demos. Uh, you can also share your program with me, grab that link, uh, email it to me, and I can see it. So that completes your first introduction to Python 3. We've learned two functions, the print function and the input function. Uh, have a go moving on to video two and then I'll be able to give you some practice exercises. Uh, but have a quick tinker with what you've got here first as well, obviously. All right, uh, thank you for watching.